10 minutes in the first half, 10 minutes in the second half, three minutes in between. The pool is uh, 350 deep. And here we go. Uh, Molde is the first on the ball. Nice play to get hold of the ball, but there are only a Rixu player now down and no Molde player left. That was quite an <laughs> interesting start. Um, and we have a cluster on the surface, which uh, is due to the fact that the Molde player doesn't have another player to pass on to. And he was attacked by at least four uh, Rixu player from Finland. So Rixu is in ball position and they already go two players from Rixu, but they stopped in front of the uh, Norway basket. Oh, we have one good, good attack on the open side. Uh, that was quite close on the goalkeeper from Molde, um, but uh, wasn't executed uh, to the last and was snatched away by Molde. And we have a counter attack from Molde now to the basket of the Finnish players. Yeah, but now they recover and they're trying. Well, this just there was Finnish uh, player against three of all. There was a pity that none of their um, mates uh, just offer to get that ball because, um, like, you know, it's just good. He's still holding it, but again, three is not easy. Uh, it's got, I mean, well, okay, passing it <laughs> farther. And they keep the counter attack. Uh, we have already Molde into position in the basket and defense. And uh, the Finnish are a tough cookie. <laughs> they're coming and uh, they're not really uh, doing it easy for, for Molde. They just, you know, lose the ball but recover. They're, they're fighting and they are in good condition so far. We have to see, you know, if they can keep up with this. Uh, Reason and the speed of of, of the game that's normally and, and now he's under the basket and uh, was trying I mean was no one underneath the, the 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 back of the of the goalkeeper and that ball was close to too close to to be pulled inside. Well, I have I have the uh, the impression Molde is uh, struggling a little bit here with the attacks of Rixu. But what we know of Molde, they go into defense and they rely on their counter attacks to go for the um, enemy basket and then score with a heavy counter attack, uh, under swimming uh, the the defense and be faster than them. And now we have again uh, uh, we are in the half of. Uh, Finland, but again, Finland recovered the ball and we're uh, in front of the basket of Molde and uh, Rixu is attacking, heavily attacking the basket of uh, Molde and they, we have now a call from the referee, yeah, was pushing without ball from uh, Finland and now it's a free throw against uh, Finland, pushing without ball um, and that was a close call, Molde was here under pressure and uh, interesting to see how this will be developed. If this is the uh, typical Molde uh, waiting, waiting, waiting style until they have a chance to break through and score, or if they're really under pressure here. Well, I mean, so no. we have a redone. Uh, that's interesting. I think there was a wrong execution of the free throw. It's a free throw now against uh, Molde. Maybe the, the referees changed it. I, we don't have an upward camera so to see what, what happened. But uh, now it's a free throw against Molde. And Molde is in defense and uh, Rixu is executing and going in on the basket from the close side of the pool. So already there are uh, players from Rixu waiting on the, the open side. But uh, the ball carrier in the middle of the pool in front of the basket is attacked can uh, hold on to the ball, recover it, pass on, and Rixu is still attacking wave after wave against the defense of uh, Molde, and there is now an attack from the closed side on the head side. Yeah, they are building up really pressure, but well, Molde just recovered. Here we go, counter-attack. Counter-attack, very fast. This is what the, the Norwegians are so strong in swimming, uh, very uh, fast counter-attacks. This is one of their um, strong points. Uh, now um oh, they are... They, they Finland interrupted the attack of Molde, uh, snatched the ball away and uh, try now to break through, uh, but are stopped in the middle half of the pool and Molde recovered the ball, but there's a call from the referee. It's a crib to the head and it's a free throw against Molde. So what do you say, Lorena? It's uh, interesting uh, to see uh, the... The time, the ball position time now is in favor of Rixu, I'd say. Um, yes. But uh, 
that doesn't say anything if you play against no. Molde because no. Molde uh, normally hold it, hold it, hold it, yeah, the and ball, then break free. Attack exactly, and then score. Because here, um, I think Rixu is exhausting uh, um, themselves, and uh, Molde is waiting for the yes. chance to break through. That's what we normally see in the Molde game. But Rixu is, do, is doing quite a good job, and uh, uh, the basket from Molde is from time to time under pressure, and if they don't be careful, they could uh, easily uh, catch a goal. And uh, Rixu is really good in keeping the ball and putting themselves in position on the Molde basket. Yeah. Now they come from the close side again, and attacking and going in with force. One, three players trying to, to break into the defense, but Molde succeeds in breaking free, and they do it now, a fast counter-attack. We have a one-on-one -on -one situation on the basket, but now the rest of the Rixo players are there on the close side, and they are uh, succeed to fending off this attack. Yeah, that's, I mean, they recover very fast and change. This is really important to change from uh, offensive into defensive. A lot of teams have managed that, and this is where the stre uh, strength of the Norwegians of the counter attacks and uh, it's a score in an empty basket. This is not the situation here. I don't see, even if Rixu so far had a bit of a more possession ball, I don't see that Molde was stressed out because of that. I mean, they were just holding their position. Um, they say that um, the best defense is the attack, but not in the case of, of Molde. They were just holding to re recover the ball, and then now they are at the Rixus basket and trying to build up their attack. That is not being really easy because the Finnish are really putting up a fight. Um, they are now uh, fighting at the surface. We can't see very well, but it looks two against two. And um, now the ball just is recovered one of the white players of the finish and they are just uh, approaching with a counter-attack with two uh, the goalkeeper in Molle but also the defenders are in position uh, it's a very uh, a very crowded right there <laughs> They recover the the ball. The what the Finns, player, it looks what the Finns try to do. They go in 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 the first attack with, with every force they have, and to push into the defense. But Molde is quite uh, their their bodily force to keep them off is quite strong. So there's a call from the deck referee. We don't have a picture from the deck uh, uh, from the pool area, um, so we don't know what's happening. Can we hear the referees that we're talking about. Um, yeah, sometimes the sound from the pool area, I'll try to blend it in, I uh, don't know if you can hear it now. So, we had a little problem with that yeah. sound too in the beginning. Yeah, but that's better, so we hear the horn. And here we go. It, it um, but here Rixu attacks, and their attack are quite uh, with three people uh, together. And they go in with force, but they're yeah. stopped and pushed away by Molde. Um, but Still, Rixo is in ball position, ball position. They're doing a great job. I mean, yeah. um, they really uh, go and, and, and try to build up the waves. Um, and now it's Oh, just that was close. It was right behind. And then was a goal. That was a goal. It looks, yeah, it was a goal. That was very well goal. done behind the back of the goalkeeper. The, the attacker came from above. And the, the, the defender tried to keep him away bodily, but didn't see he had the hand around the body of the goalkeeper. Yeah. And he pushed the ball into the, the goal behind the back of the goalkeeper. And there was not much force in it. It, was no. it looked quite easily because it was clever done. So it's a 1-0 for Rixu against Molde here in Champions Cup 2017 in Berlin. I think the last time that Molde got a score, I mean, got a, a goal um, against them was last year when they were um, also in the group games against Colombia. Otherwise, normally they empty the, <laughs> they win the Keep whole the cup empty, with yeah. a zero basket, and now they have already uh, a score. Very uh, well intercepted the, the here. Finish. Now we have to see because the the, the uh, Molde probably will try to maybe uh, put a, a up a, a notch uh, in their game. And the uh, Finnish, uh, they will have to really keep concentrate and keep on ball, co ball control because Molde, uh, you can't relax. You cannot just for a second doubt your game because that would be the second where you get a score. 30 seconds left in this first half. Uh, Molde against uh, Molde from Norway against Rixru from Finland, and uh, it definitely looks for me uh, Finland is uh, controlling the game uh, with a 1-0 lead. The poor, the poor but it was it is not shown. Was it not a goal? I I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not. I saw shown. the sign uh, from the referee. 
uh, yeah. we don't have a confirmation here if it was a goal. It looked like, but yes, because they started it, right? Yeah, they should. Now we have yeah. a counter attack one on one against uh, the goalkeeper, oh. Molly against the I goalkeeper from Finland. I think that's. Ah, that's time the out, the time. the time is over in okay. the first half, so that would have been a chance, but that's normally something you don't see. You don't see a one-to-one -one attack from Molde against a goalkeeper, and uh, the pushing up is not successful with, an, uh, with a score. So, new quality here in the game, and I'm it's I'm still a 0-0, zero zero and we're not sure. Ask, uh, yeah. that Could you do this, please, I'm Lorena? Yeah, that would be good. quite Always. nice. Thank you very much, my love. So you see the pool area here, Champions Cup, uh, the known pool area in uh, Berlin, uh, Götzstraße in the Götzbad. And it's the same pool like all the last uh, 16 years, I think we do it now continually. Only the um, two years ago we had to change the pool because of uh, technical issues. You see the Riksu player uh, from Finland uh, lying down. Uh, they are quite exhausted and they are putting in a good game and it's quite motivating to uh, put such a good game game one of the top teams uh, of the world in other water rugby and uh, the Molde player, they are look exhausted too. It's difficult for them to, uh, um, to keep their game up against Riksu and uh, you never know what is the plan of Molde, defending, defending, but in the defense they are right now, the chances for Riksu are quite high. So it's not impossible. Uh, Riksu, if they keep up like that, uh, they can win this game. And that will be a new one uh, for one of the first games uh, from Molde in the Champions Cup to, um, to be not able to keep up uh, with with uh, one of, not well, not of one of the top teams, but uh, Riksu is not one of the four teams you would think uh, is able to beat Molde here in this uh, game. It would be Orcas, probably Ege, let's see what they have. Uh, Bamberg for sure. Uh, these are the, the top teams, but Riksu shows us that they can do it and uh, will be quite interesting, but never ever underestimate it and uh, underestimate Molde because they have a lot in their uh, uh, in their uh, box, hidden okay. in the box. Okay, I'm Lorena, back, tell back. us what happened. I'm back from the front. Well, no, it was the score. It's 1-0 from Finland right now. But apparently the uh, white, um, I mean the box for the white team, the electric uh, box where you can show the, the scores, is not working right now. Ah, okay. So that's why they couldn't, we cannot see that it's uh, put into the... So Quite well done. Screen, but it is 1-0 for uh, the Finnish team. That, so, that seven count, seconds left and uh, we leave uh, this first half and go in the second half with a 1-0 lead from Riksu from Finland against uh, Molde from Norway. And Molde is in blue and Riksu is in white. And you're watching Champions Cup 2017 here in Berlin. My name is Wolf and I'm together with Lorena commenting the games. So... Um, Molde has to uh, run behind uh, Riksu now and they're going for it. We see the first attack on the basket of Riksu but very well defended. Uh, the player from Molde who's coming right in front of the basket couldn't break through. Second wave going in and uh, we, um, uh, we see a very well defended basket from Riksu and even though they're pushing really, Molde is pushing really hard on the basket, they seem not to break through and get in touchable distance uh, to the goalkeeper, very well defended and we have <laughs> we have a sign from the referees and it's a free throw against Molde. And now and we can see 1-0 for yeah. Finland, now it's working again because uh, the score that we can see on the screen is, is um, connected uh, directly to the board of uh, the uh, uh, referees, so the moment the referees count the goal and um, then it, it, it shows on the screen. So, yeah. But so now it's working back again. We have 225 people watching us in the live stream and Molde is in ball position on the heavy attack by uh, uh, Riksu 
and uh, Molde tries to break through, but Rixus forechecking is, is quite heavy. Now we see a bodily game, and it's getting uh, uh, more and more physical into uh, the, the attacks of Molde, and they try to stop it. They try to stop the the power Molde puts, Molde players put into the water to break through. They try to stop them bodily, and it's a free throw against Molde again. Yeah, I'm just uh, looking that Molde it's in the group A. I mean, because we have 14 uh, teams uh, with the men, we have four groups, two groups of four and two group of three, and Molde is together with Rixu, with Firenze, and with Newark. So this is the uh, game. Here we yeah. go. Uh, again, uh, Rixu attacking Molde. And uh, Molde succeeded in getting the ball away, but uh, uh, there were already two Rixu players waiting for this Molde player trying to, to break three. And uh, he didn't succeed, lost the ball, and we have another attack from Rixu, and they try to build up from the close side. Um, and going down to the Molde basket again, and it's uh, three minutes into the second half here in this game. And this is interesting, and I guess uh, the, the Rixu has a good chance of winning this game if they can keep up well, the speed they're putting into. Never trust, never trust it. It's seven minutes still too soon to say because um, Molde, it, you know, um, they, they, they are not uh, an easy team. They, are the, they have never the strongest so far, yeah. exactly. But so far, the Finnish know pretty much what they're doing and uh, they're being successful with that. So let's see if they can keep up with this ball control they're having right now, and let's see how uh, Molde, if they can regroup and maybe um, get a bit more of ball control. Um, and it takes one, just one goal for now for Molde to equalize and, yeah. an and another goal to, uh, to win. So this is uh, six minutes left. They need to keep very focused because the one mistake of each one of the, of the teams is going to be the next score. Um, even though this one zero and f the Finnish team Here we now go. we are two Whoa, against very the, good the chance. goalkeeper. If if would be have more uh, a little bit faster from the Rixu player, oh, he would have been uh, open on the open yeah. side. But now we see the counter attack. We waited through, um, but the Molde player didn't break through. Was stopped on the feet, holding on the feet by a uh, Rixu a close player. One. I mean, that yeah. if if the Finnish cannot stay really focused and 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 be back. Uh, yeah, soon to enough. The defense, soon yeah. enough to defense. Then and it's, you still have um, you know, call from the referee. Over five minutes to go. Hard playing, over hard playing, the, the show Norwegians from Molde. Five seconds to, to, to swim the counter and, and do a score on an empty basket yeah. if the Finnish team um, is not focused and, and on So we top have of a free throw against um, uh, Molde again. It's the third free throw, I think, in this uh, second half. Back a bit. So uh, it looks like Molde is getting uh, angry and puts more uh, force into the, the water and uh, are rewarded with three throw against them by the referees. So uh, Rixu from Finland, uh, again in ball possession, trying to attack. Um, Molde player recovered it. They fight really in uh, every, Very well done. every inch of the, of the pool. They, they're really there and, and recover. It's, it's not an easy uh, game for Molde. Game for Molde. Yep. No, it doesn't look easy for Rixu too, but easily, no, but, but, but it, they seem more in control of what's it happening. Looks, I mean, for me, they're a little bit. It looks a little bit more in control, and and Molde now, it's a get. A, it looks in the <laughs> like they are getting annoyed. They're a little bit um, angry, angry, or maybe overwhelmed with, with this situation. If you could make a team like Molde angry because they are so focused and so controlled, I don't think they're angry. They just put it up a notch. Yeah. I don't know. It can be quite frustrated to know that you know normally how what is the the um, performance you can bring up, and if you're having trouble into bring it that into water. Yeah. So, um, so uh, Rixu is is putting it uh, itself uh, quite into one of the top teams uh, of this Champions Cup. In my point, from my point of view, I mean recover the ball from the attack from Molde and putting it into a counter attack. Uh, again, small days. So uh, but this but is. Two pl Molde players are already uh, on the attacker. Uh, the steal and ball control. Also, you know, you said earlier today, Iver broke the, he has his hand, so he cannot be here. I don't know also if that morally affected the team as well. When you lose such an important player um, and you have newer players, like you mentioned, then, you know, it can be. 
it can be uh, absolutely hard. we saw it with Bamberg um, even for them it was much harder because it wasn't short notice but um, what is what is what is uh, what we see here normally there are at least two uh, um, stations w the ball carrier can uh, uh, the pass the ball to and here it's more difficult for Molde to put up their game to build their game because Rixu is intercepting uh, and is uh, stopping the attack of Molde uh, snatching the ball away and uh, going into attack mode but uh, that's they lost it's, the ball. It's amazing yep. how they recover the ball, both Molde and, yep. and Rixu. Very good game it's for both really, teams. Um, they they put a lot of strength uh, in, in recovering, and the problem is most of the time, <laughs> then they don't have uh, very soon the the next player to pass the ball. So they're always like two fighting in the middle until the next come and is two again. Um, but that it's, was it's a, a little bit of bo yeah the, the the ball flow in the middle is this is quite uh, stagnant I mean quite, quite stagnant uh, yeah, stagnant, yeah yeah because yeah. both teams just pushing each other now we have a uh, the attack intercepted from Molde against uh, Rixu basket one Rixu player lost his mask he was still holding on to the ball going tr uh, trying to go up to the surface and not losing the ball and I think there is a cluster fight now on the surface. Um, it's one for zero for Rixu. I mean, if you are just one of the 278 uh, watchers and you just connect it and you see the one is for Rixu and Molly is zero, it, this is correct. Um, this might be also a surprise for, for many of us that have been following the Champions Cup in the last seven years, which were the years that Molly won on a, on a row uh, the Champions Cup. So uh, to see the Finnish team. Time out. Time uh, out. I would even dare to say for Molde because they have a free throw, I believe, against the no, the Finnish team. Yeah, it could be. So you can be sure um, the other top teams, Bamberg, Orcas, uh, and Eke, are watching this game closely because uh, for them Molde is uh, their main uh, obstacle to go on the first place and um, to see Rixu... Also for Flipper, I think. Yeah, Flipper too. Sorry, chance. forgot I mean Flipper all the time. Uh, no disrespect here, I was just uh, not in my mind. But yeah, Flipper... Denmark has really improved their game in the last yeah. couple of years as well. Flipper is also one of the top to teams. Be a tough, uh, so this, this is even too. more interesting here than we had in the last Champions Cup because uh, when Mold is playing that is, they are not dominating everything like they did. And this opens up the, the spot for the other teams and it's going to be a hard fight for the first place. Um, but all this said, uh, we have one, in, uh, we have one uh, minute 47 left in the second half. Uh, Rixu from Finland against Mold from Norway. And it's one uh, in favor of uh, Rixu. Oh, okay. I, I had missed that. And... Uh, all right. One minute, 47 seconds. If, if Rixu succeeds now in fending off no. and playing... Uh, let's... Okay. No. Yeah, okay. Good. Sorry. If uh, Rixu succeeds in playing the way they did uh, for the last eight, uh, 18 minutes and keeping Molde off, uh, they could go uh, through this first game against Molde in a win and that's uh, interesting but now you see the speed up and Molde is going in they know they have to uh, but the bad pass which was half intercepted didn't break through on to the attacker waiting behind the basket and one of the Rixu players tries to push through a, a cluster and now of he's several just Norway in the, players. In the surface swimming back to go in a counter attack two of the very nice playing they're just arriving under the basket of Molde. One uh, minute the left. The next finish uh, is under the basket, but it has got pulled up by two of the Molde players. Now they're on the surface. Mm, I cannot see who is holding onto the ball. One of the white players of uh, Rixu got the ball, has three Molde players around him. Um, now they're going toward the surface again, and uh, everyone is fighting. In the surface, we can't see much from here. Um, hmm. It would be uh, there's a cluster up there, and I think Rixu is holding on to the ball right now, just waiting uh, the time uh, to to yeah, count probably, down. Yeah. I mean, because we have 20 seconds, 19 seconds, and it's uh, 15 seconds left in this first game. Uh, Molde against uh, Rixu, and it's a free throw against um, Molde. Against Molde. 
from eight the seconds timeout. I think that's a timeout out. probably from Molde no. or from Rixu. It would what? be probably from Rixu. To try to. Um, but we don't know which one, which took the timeout yeah. earlier. So. Oh. With the things we have to but sadly let's, we are let's say with, with a free throw left and a, a seven seconds, um, I'd say... Seven seconds was, is what is left. Yeah, it was only second seconds left. So interesting game, like I said, the uh, first game of the day and this... Uh, uh, it's astonishing. Uh, we see the, uh, the very tough physical game of Rixu against Amazing. a very tough uh, physical game of Molde and Has been uh, a, a great game I mean yeah. they have both really been fighting for already a, a highlight of this uh, Champions Cup and the one the zero lead is earned I guess by Finland uh, they have more ball possession uh, yeah. altogether yes uh, they own this game at least in the first half I mean yeah. now it has uh, now it's more like 50 50 I would say but uh, the Finnish team really dominate the first yeah. uh, and half. And uh, we, we say this with no disrespect to, to Molde. We got some critics from our for our last comments uh, about Molde in the last Champions Cup. Time over. And uh, Rixu from Finland did win their first game against the uh, dominator Molde. This was an interesting game. And uh, I guess, like I already said, this opens up uh, the 